Hi guys, what is up? It is on Digital Princess and we are here finally with a P.O. Box opening. Digital Princess is a pretty well-known social media content creator. She has over 2.1 million followers on TikTok and rose to popularity early in 2020. But recently, it has come out that Digital Princess has been arrested in Lee County, Florida and is being charged with a felony. So what exactly did this lovable bubbly online personality do to deserve such a harsh punishment? I do see your comments. I do see your concerns. I'm not at all trying to avoid or hide the situation. Apparently, uh, she's been arrested. For those of you who know how legal stuff works, legally, I'm only allowed to say so much regarding it. It's not as serious, I feel like, as everybody might be thinking. I mean, it is kind of serious, but it's not as bad as... It's kind of bad. So please do not believe everything that you will read on the internet. When did you know you would succeed in this industry? I would say I really knew because I wasn't really like trying to be famous. Marissa, aka Digital Princess, is a 24 year old content creator who has been steadily increasing in popularity since the beginning of 2020. She has a TikTok account with over 2.1 million followers, an Instagram with over 350,000 followers, a Twitch, and is even popular on OnlyFans. But recently, she has privated all of her social media accounts in an attempt to scrub the internet of her recent wrongdoings after her Florida arrest. I mean, it is kind of serious, but it's not as bad as... It's kind of but Marissa is no stranger to completely scrubbing or changing her online identity because if you're familiar with Digital Princess, you know that she didn't always go by that name. In October 2020, Digital Princess used to go by the name Pokey Princess. Um, when I got the username Pokey Princess, this was like eight years ago and some guy gave it to me. And uh, obviously it's because I really like Pokemon, hence Pokey from Pokemon and why I put did Pokey Princess. And um, I just kind of kept the username ever since. She was a huge fan of Pokemon. Her tattoos are all Pokemon related. Her videos are Pokemon related and even her merch. She liked it so much that she tried to trademark the name Pokey Princess on legal Zoom. Um, I got the name trademark and that was the next uh, issue I ran into is when I got my name trademark, I went through legal zoom, which I highly don't recommend using for trademarking. Uh, my dad recommended it to me because he's like, oh, they have lawyers on there that you can pay for and they'll help you with the trademark. So um, I should have just went to like a normal lawyer, but I went through legal zoom and it's like this weird thing where they're not really like lawyers or something like that. But um, being an OnlyFans creator and trademarking the name Pokey, Nintendo was not pleased. So did the trademark and then that's when I started selling more clothes. And then it was about two months ago. I received an email from my lawyer through LegalZoom saying, hey, um, you have a cease and desist from Nintendo and um, I'm uh, withdrawing from your case because they don't handle like third party things. So it is kind of like, good luck, you're on your own. TikTok and OnlyFans star Pokey Princess was forced to rebrand to Digital Princess after Nintendo sent her a cease and desist notice. Basically, it was from Nintendo and they were saying like, um, you are obviously infringing, you're like copy, you copyrighted all of our stuff, you have Pokeballs in your merchandise. Um, they obviously reserved all rights and um, earnings from everything that I sold that had any Pokemon related thing on it. Digital Princess said that she was forced to pay Nintendo back all of the money she made on the merch featuring Pokemon characters, but that was still less than what she had refunded people who'd bought the merch from her store but hadn't received it, totaling $30,000. They don't want me to use the username Pokey Princess anymore to profit or make money or do anything with the name at all because since people can get confused with my username and the Pokemon company, considering I put Pokemon on my merchandise when I was selling it, they, Pokemon, Nintendo doesn't want people to think that I'm in any shape or form affiliated with them or that I have a partnership with them. And it all comes back to me being an adult entertainer since when I was trademarked as Poke Princess, one of the classes I was underneath was uh, an entertainer and it was adult entertainer. And Nintendo and Pokemon is a family friendly company, so they don't want that to at all ruin their reputation or anything if people think that me and them are affiliated. After this happened, people were really on Digital Princess's side. People were actually kind of sad for the fact that she decided to change her name. But let's jump ahead a couple months to the present. I'm not at all trying to avoid or hide the situation. I knew the day was coming for this bitch and it has come. I do see your comments, I do see your concerns. Apparently uh, she's been arrested for child neglect. She's went private on TikTok 
and she went private on Twitter. And I know there's a lot of things being posted online that are very out of context. Would you leave your five-year-old child's home alone in a new place that they've just barely started living in? But the girl decided to move off to Florida and no time was arrested for child neglect. Please do not believe everything that you will read on the internet. On August 27th, the mugshot was released of Marissa that was being passed around on Twitter and TikTok. And this person even tweeted and attached a court document with her mugshot. Why is Digital Princess trying so hard to cover up that she was arrested for leaving her son home alone while she went out with friends and her neighbors found him crying. After this tweet received over 2,000 likes, people were commenting on the situation all over social media. Not gonna lie, this almost makes me wonder how many times you have left that baby alone. I understand kids are being a handful and need a break, but you never ever leave your kids home alone. You literally put him to bed, left him alone to go see a friend, which we all know what that means. You had a mini black dress on, full face of makeup. Just say it like it is, bruh. There is literally a police report. She cannot say the internet is lying. This is bone chilling to think about as a mother. Why would you dare leave a five year old alone? I get kids are a hassle, but you chose to have them. It's your responsibility. After the story started to snowboard, Digital Princess tried to get a hold of the situation. First, by coming out with an apology video. Hi guys. I just wanted to come on here and say that I do see your comments, I do see your concerns. I'm not at all trying to avoid or hide the situation. For those of you who know how legal stuff works, legally I'm only allowed to say so much regarding it. And I know there's a lot of things being posted online that are very out of context and very much untrue, so please do not believe everything that you will read on the internet. I can't really say much more. I just want to say thank you so much for all of those who have supported me and everything like that, and thank you guys. And when that didn't work, she started deleting all of her social accounts and even tried getting the TikTok videos about her taken down. This TikTok posted a video saying she was looking up recent arrests in her county and found the arrest report. I woke up next day to a follow and a DM on Instagram from Marissa. She asked me to delete the TikTok because it included her address and she explained that she was simply asleep in bed and her son got out. Hey, I just saw your TikTok and I was wondering if you could please remove it so people don't take it out of context. Onyx went out the front door when I was sleeping and one of my neighbors called the cops because they thought he was lost. They obviously arrested me for neglect of a child but will have the charge dropped since I was in the house but just asleep. It was an accident and I'm not choosing to speak up about it until later. It also has my address on there, if you could please remove. Context, let's take a look at the arrest report. This is the website for the Lee County, Florida arrest records and inquiries. And this is the official arrest reports. And if you look at the charge description, neglect of child without great bodily harm. And reading through this, Everything that she said in her statement is completely false. So there's a lot of things being posted online that are very out of context and very much untrue. So this arrest report states that there was a small child found outside at approximately five years of age crying alone and a neighbor arrived and stayed with the child. So please do not believe everything that you will read on the internet. This is exactly what she said to the police. Digital Princess said that she put the child to bed at approximately 10.15 and once he was asleep, she left the residence at 10.25, going to 7.11, located around the corner, to purchase laundry detergent. The police said that due to inconsistencies in her account of the events, attire, and makeup, that is not usually conducive to a late night run to a convenience store. The officer read her her Miranda rights and arrested her. And then when she was followed up and questioned again, she then said that she put her child to bed at approximately nine o'clock to go meet up with a friend who was located in Fort Myers. She traveled 11 miles, which was 17 minutes according to Google Maps. She then said that she actually didn't buy detergent and started making excuses about her son being autistic, etc., etc. Based on the totality of the circumstances, she was being charged with the following, neglect of a child. She was transported to Lee County Jail for booking and lodging. Incident was captured on the officer's body-worn cameras. Being a primary caregiver and she failed to provide her child with care, she was arrested. So what exactly were these lies that she was telling? That her son got out while she was sleeping and that's why she was arrested? For those of you who know how legal stuff works, legally I'm only allowed to say so much regarding it. Since all these incidents has happened, you can see that she's lost around 100,000 followers on TikTok. She hasn't come out with any other statements. The only updated information that we have here is that on the 2nd of September, she filed an affidavit which was the waiver of her personal appearance, which means that she's not showing up in court 
in the rule of her criminal procedure and I think someone's gonna be showing up on her behalf like her lawyer. And that's the story of the past and present actions of Digital Princess, aka Marissa. Uh, would you ever have another child? If so, what would the name be? One kid is enough for me. Um. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It took me quite some time to do the research and make it. I haven't streamed this week because I was making this video, but follow me over on Twitch. Follow all my socials. Everything is going to be down below, and I'll be back very soon with a brand new video. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm drunk. Child neglect.